Hey guys, this is Cezal. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Before I start unboxing, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers and those that are new and first time viewer. Welcome, I hope you enjoyed unboxing. So the format for this video is going to be quite long, not a full review, but I think it'll be around 30 minutes to 4 minutes. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't think I can make it shorter for you guys. <laughs> but uh, the, relax, don't worry, it'll be, it'll be a good video, I'm sure. Okay. So let's, let's get started. Okay, so basically, I bought a 32 gig, and you can see that the the box is black, which is kind of surprised me because usually they do white, but it's black. So I'm not sure you can see the the all this spec. You know, all you need to know really is that it's top of the line Samsung Galaxy. You don't have to worry about you know slow down or something like that and just. You know, all this spec, you can always read it, but I think it's so hard to see on a camera because I'm using iPad to record this, really, because I don't I don't use a camcorder. So that's why you see kind of blurry and whatnot. But whatever, it's about, you know, what what the phone is capable of, you know. Pretty much this better than your gas S6 or I would say any phone in the market right now. You know, kind of biased for Apple phone, but it is what it is, right? Okay. I tried to open this, but, you know, I thought about it. But I wanted to do an, a true unboxing where, you know, I don't just straight up from the beginning. So that way, I don't know, it just feel better. Okay, so, no, I don't use knife, okay, paper clip. This is how I open most of my product. I don't use knife, no fancy knife, stuff like that. Okay, let's get the job done, and that's that. Most of the important thing is when you when you buy a phone or anything, you want to keep the box so that way, if you happen to sell back or even just you know sell it used to from your friend, it's nice to give them a box. It's just it's just nicer. So don't throw it away, you know. I mean, the box does look good, so. Uh, I don't know, it's just uh, your preference, but I always keep my boxes. Even though most of the time I don't sell the phone, but if I do, the box always increase your value. Okay, so let's get this pin out of the way. Okay, so they do this, nothing in here, it's just the cover, but this is where you open the product. So this is Samsung. Yeah, and this is the T-Mobile version. You want to get the 32 gig one because this one have micro SD that can support to 200 gigabyte, which is a lot of space. You don't need to be spending you know, 100 about more just for 64 gig when you can just spend 32 gig and just spend 40 bucks or 50 bucks for the micro SD, and you get 200 gig of extra storage. So which is a better deal in terms of um, budget. Okay. So the phone, yeah. So let's see. Okay. So let's see. Two, two, two. So this is SIM. Now T Mobile. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah, they come with a SIM, but you don't really need it. So. Because most of, most of you already have GSM when you buy T-Mobile or AT&T, depend. Okay, so let's let me see before I start doing that. Let me see what's inside here, really. Mm. Okay, book. I don't know. Let me see. I see some people they have trouble opening this. You know, hopefully, you know I won't have that issue. Box, 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 more box. Okay. 
Yeah, it looks like the some people they have it early, so the the package is a bit different. But this one is just a straight up pull out, so that's that's okay. The pin probably won't need it, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. Put the pin here. Okay, so okay, that and. You get a quick, fast charging, adaptive fast charge. Hmm. Okay. And obviously the usual USB for your charging. This one right here is the over OTG, over the air micro USB. So basically you put it in here, and then you put in a regular USB drive, and you can get extra storage. But I don't really like it that much because I mean, who's gonna put, you know, a USB in this? It's very inconvenient. And right now that you have micro SD, you can just put micro SD in. You know, it's it's better than using this. But anyway, it's good that they give. You know, maybe they wanna, you know, steal some customer from some of these seller who sell this at Dongo, probably. So okay, let's see. And uh, what is this? Uh, yes, they give headphone. Mm. Do I really have to open this? Yes, I do. Okay. The headphone. I never really like these type of headphone because they usually don't. How is it? Stay in the ear. So I use the over ear type, so that way it, it block the sound, so I can hear, you know, the clarity more easier from. Block the sound from the outside, but yeah, but you know, keep it because when you sell it back, you have this, it, it adds your value up. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna put it back for this because that's all you're gonna see, so that's that. Okay, let me clear this out out of the way. Okay. Let's see the sticker. Let me pull out the sticker first. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna see, see if I can do this justice. So, can't do this. Um, yeah, let's see. Seven inch. Let me see. Yeah, it's yeah, let's see. Seven inch and. I bought the gold version. I'm not sure you can see it well enough because this iPad camera is not that great. But you know, I can do it. Let's see, let's see if I can go closer. Yes, yeah, look better far away, really, in my opinion. Yeah. But you know, so far I like the the gold really. The gold, most for gold phone, they are either very gold and shiny gold and. You know, you don't want to be, like, have used that phone, you know, that shows that you are too, too bling, I would guess. This is like a soft gold, gold touch, which is nice, business, business-wise, you know, you use it, you still look like a boss, you know, so, I mean, it's not silver, silver is pretty common. There's three colors for the Galaxy S7 Edge, which is the black, the gold, and the silver titanium. Which is only for the edge. The S6, I mean the S7 screen size is smaller, but you only have the gold and the black. They don't have the silver. But most people they just they just think that oh silver is the exclusive color for the edge, so they buy that and you know it's new, it's like they like it, I get it. But really, you know, nothing can be gold, you know, it's just it's just the way the world works, you know. Gold is just you know more more like I guess by the general media so you resale value is usually more appeal when you buy a gold version then instead of black or or a silver or titanium even if you or ammo you name it so okay and let's see screen protector right this this phone come with a hard screen protector but you don't want to be um, not hard screen, but like they do have 
temper class coming tech for this but very expensive for this type because you have to you have to uh, buy it's about 40 bucks and uh, if you buy that then it's too much money really so try to not drop the phone okay because I know it's pretty tough okay so you can see that the edge right you see the edge here it's it's curved it bent in you can see that it, it bent in inward you can see that and in the back it's the same thing it bent inward it goes curved bent inward so I guess the edge before for the S6 I hold it it's really bad I hold it, it's not comfortable but the S7 is really good because of the, the curve back they copy the Note 5 which is very nice because I can hold it and I can feel that it's not scratching my hand okay, so the at least the feel is very good the it's not that heavy it's not that heavy but um, it's it's good enough it's good enough okay and uh, also you see how this all the fingerprint already you know this I don't think there's any sticker here no okay so they do have okay yeah it's, this thing here is not sticker it's real glass okay, but this one is sticker but I'm gonna pull anyway just for the video okay okay so you see like fingerprint very easy very easy fingerprint usually a phone like this you want to have a back temper glass for this because I hate fingerprint that is that is you know you touching the finger and then you have to clean clean it later it's just you know it look messy I guess yeah so usually phone like this I always buy a back temper glass and I just put it back there when I touch it there's no there's less very very few fingerprint but I don't know why you know no company they do that they 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 make even for the fun screen you touch it you have you have um you have fingerprint even for the even for the fun screen so I can I can touch it now you can they will see fingerprint uh, let me see um, I guess you can't see very well but let you know that there's always gonna be fingerprint because they don't want to put the material even though temper glass they sell very cheap it's about five bucks and when you touch it there is about very very few fingerprint and look nice you just touch a bit and it's clean and you don't have to do a lot of you know cleaning and clean this phone and it look nice yeah so that's why I always recommend to um, buy a temper glass for the back so that way you don't scratch the phone and when you sell it you can just pull a temper glass out and you can sell for high at least top dollar for your phone because there's so many phones that sell used and then you get scratched back and look ugly completely it doesn't matter even if a hard bug up you don't want to see you don't want to buy no phone that's scratched so same thing so you sell phone you want to have temper glass in the back and if possible in the front but for the edge one it's so expensive it's like I said it's 30 bucks for a front temper glass that's curved that actually cover up the entire thing that is the 30 buck one but the S6 it's just um, S7 is a straight front so there's no curve so the temp glass is cheaper so you can buy those for like five bucks seven bucks or ten bucks max so yeah but for but because the edge they have to technology to curve the temp glass is I guess they charge you more so 30 bucks I'm not feeling that price so you know I didn't want to buy it because uh, it's so expensive so it makes no sense really but 10 bucks yeah I would do it but for the back yeah definitely there will I will buy a temper glass for for the back because you know I don't want to see no fingerprint it's just it's just the way it is right okay and you can see that the the port they didn't use USB-C for this it would be nice if they use it but they won't because I guess because you use USB-C you have fast charging and this thing they use might they have fast charging so it's not that bad you you uh, you charge 10 minutes I believe they said it 10 minutes and they go 30% 40% so that it's okay so maybe that's why they want to invest to new technology new processing you know plan to change the connector which you know they already have the the part everything already you know they just keep using using microphones but maybe that's this will go out later since uh look like Apple they doing and a flat lightning cable now for headphone so yeah so I, I'm expecting this to be out soon not a big deal to me though I use Bluetooth on my phone most all the time okay this is a microphone you gotta be careful with this because Samsung phone usually have this problem when 
when you use for a while this hole right here it will have dirt in it and when it does that you pretty much have to use the pin then and you just poke it so that you can clear out dirt you have noise so I don't know this is waterproof but I don't think it's does proof because I mean you block the microphone hole pretty much you cannot hear anything so no 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 dust proof can handle that part All right so there's your speaker this antenna band really I don't know but uh, they could just paint it like exactly the same color so it'll be flush and look nicer like that okay they have come you can see out this one here I want to show you guys you see the the camera is so flat I mean this is very good like I can it's just a little tiny bump tiny bump man it's so flat yeah you can see it's really flat which is nice you don't want to be scratching you don't want to be scratching that stuff so your power buttons here usual and uh, this is your, your sim slot right here uh, and this is your volume button your volume button okay and this is this button here is square so they used to be circle-ish I guess and now it's a bit square so it's still fingerprint okay so your fingerprint scanner and uh, the S6 fingerprint I tried is really bad um, 90 percent it, it worked but you know most time you do for a while then it stopped working and then you have to redo the fingerprint uh, I'm not sure if they improved this part but uh, I don't know after use one I don't know okay so let's turn on hope there's still battery really okay yes yes edge. let me put it Yes, yeah, so I say booting up, you know, let's let's just say that, you know, some some of you guys use AT T plan, T Mobile plan. So I use T Mobile because it's cheap, you know, not nothing else really. It's cheap. So let me see uh, English. Okay. Wi Fi. See something. Let me make sure. I don't think there's a pin in here, but I don't want. I don't want to be there's any pin. Okay. So your micro SD go in here, and your SIM go in here. Okay. Okay. So there's nothing. Okay. You remember? Yeah. Skip. Okay. Okay. Let me enter the Wi-Fi really quick. Okay, so yeah, well, they you know you have to agree to this, no choice. Nope, I don't want to send data. Next, agree. Software update. Oh man. You see if you use that device, you could be copy by self just saying no thanks. Skip. Skip. Pacific time, okay. Next, 
Can I go next for this? Okay. Uh, not now. Set up fingerprint. Okay, I'll do the fingerprint. Okay. Set up fingerprint. To the thing, unlock the device. Set up Unlock the device or verify it. You must set a pin and pin. Okay, so I gotta set a pin. Okay, give a moment. Okay, okay so it says place your home pin, lift up. Let's see. One, two. For this, usually you wanna do all, all side, like sideways, and then do like this. So that way, when you can press any position, even just the point tip, and halfway you all that so that way it can know every single position you have and then okay okay so have a show content okay next no I don't want to find location Google no. no. Skip, skip. Okay. You can quickly transfer. For device, can I go show? Nope. iOS 5, right? It says you can transfer from all the iOS 5 or higher. So use that, you can transfer. Use a simple layout, finish. I agree. Issue assist. Please go to recover them by since that you. Uh, I guess that's okay. I'll accept that part. I don't want no personal offer. Okay. So there we go. We get into the phone. Nope. Okay, let's see. Let's pull down as usual. Wi-Fi, location, sound, audible tape, Bluetooth. The simple pull down. So. Okay, not really. So let's see. Google. This. This. At least it's. Uh, I mean, usually it's fast, so I'm not gonna. It's pretty hard to tell from S six, but at least. It's quick, very quick though. I can see it's quicker. Okay, app drawer. Hit this. Back, hit. See it low right away. And now, of course, when you start download more app, it might get slow. I don't know. But uh, so far, phone, let's see what it looks like. We're calling. Okay, favorite contact. Nothing. Okay. Okay, well, this the iPad cannot show you the screen quality, I guess, because you know it's not the greatest. But from what I see here, it's really good. I say it's sharp, I can't pretty sharp if you can see. I don't, yes, yes, at least the screen is really good. So the edge is all the way to the end, so you, it's almost like the screen is flushing outside. I know there's a this the app edge. I don't really use the edge feature really much, but sometimes it's useful. You just want to check your calendar, just uh, hit the calendar, and you check it. Uh, what? It's just a. Can I do this? Okay, there we go. Okay, let's do it again. Calendar. Okay. Calculator. At least the calculator looks nice. I would say that. Okay. Yeah, that's usually for Android phone. You want to be customized. You know, it's 
if you use straight out of the box you know it, it's a bunch of junk somewhere you need to remove this remove allow visual match dimension I just allow it manage phone call mm. I don't want to deal with this, let's see. Yeah, forget about that part. So let me see the camera because turn on location. Nope. I don't want to turn on location. Okay. Let's see. Off on HDR auto. So let me take a picture of that Pikachu pin. Let me see. Nope, you cannot do it. Let me take a picture. Take a pic. Uh, it's gonna be tough. There we go. They say that when you move it, it focuses right away. So let me see how fast it focuses. Wow. Okay. So let's see. Yeah, it's pretty sharp, I guess. Right here. Okay. So I take a picture. Of, let's see. Yeah, the picture is good, no doubt. This is low lighting. I'm recording in, you know, about 5 p.m. So it's already low lighting, but I can see the picture come out good because I'm zooming really hard but it's actually really good Vancouver okay okay so that's that there's Vito and that's Google Play Store so it works as usual okay Just confirm. use a fingerprint Yeah, I, I signed in to download the app. Okay, give me a moment, okay? Account, account, account. Okay, since uh, I was just gonna go to, so you go to setting. Here you go, app, setting. And then here you find the card, the account. Let's see. Account, there you go. And in here, this way you add your email account. So you have email, you add email account, Google for Google account. Okay. And this right here will allow you to to access the Play Store. So you need a Google account. Okay. So give more. No thanks. Okay, when you're done it look like this. Google account, right? And from there, you can go to the Play Store. And from here, you can download stuff. Okay. So let's, obviously, since this channel is, um, Sucker Spirit. What? Email coming already? Jeez. Okay. Install. Zap. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let me get the picture in the video so it looks nice. That's that's pretty much why I had the picture there. It looks nice. For some reason, the phone down does not download the app. Okay, let me see. Okay, you can see that the size right here is actually a bit smaller. You can see, right? It's, it looked thinner. Let me see. It just a bit, yeah. No, I think the it's just a bit thicker. Yeah, it's a bit thicker. Because I have the black tablet glass in front. But it's a bit thicker. You can see it. But, you know, it's very minuscule. You cannot tell, really. Okay.
you can see that having a fun time that's good because you can see that it's you see that here I drop it right and then right here you cannot see it but I drop it so so yeah it's scratch right here I mean it I have a chip but it's okay I'm just gonna buy another time so problem so uh, Dragon Ball. Okay, as you can see here, it's a subsequent download to me now. Oh my god, I cannot believe that, you know, it, maybe it's stuck with something. So, but nonetheless, you can see this process one minute. Okay. So they force you to do pin before you actually use the fingerprint. Okay, so let's do. Alright, that's fast. Yeah. On Apple, they do the same thing. When you reboot the device, you have to put in the the pin number before you can actually use this. One of the good things I like about Galaxy or Android phone in general is that they have the LED notification. I'm not sure you see it, but I missed that feature a lot. You see that that blue right there? That's what happened when you um, have message. You see the blue screen. Well, Apple when you want to have message, it start flashing in the back, which is annoying because no one's gonna see it. You put this on the ground, no one's gonna see it. Yeah, this and I know that someone messaged me. Alright, this is one of the features I and I'm not sure if I'm ever gonna do, but uh, you know I don't I don't like it that much. Alright, but this one I love it. Android is the good part is the notification. You don't have to worry about the stupid flash in the back like this. If you want notification, it will flash this back. Right. So, you know, let's see. Is it done yet? Nope. Still downloading. Installing. Okay. No, that no match because I press too light. Okay, it's not that. It's not that it's bad. It's it's because I press light. If I press harder, it will show up. Okay. Okay. So it's done yet? I'm trying to. Nope. Okay. So there you go. It's not soccer spirit, and you could move this. Whatever you want, right? Okay. So I'm just gonna end this out with you know a gameplay so that you can see. I know that they actually play, obviously. And I'm just saying now. Uh, yeah, one of the features that this this phone have is it allow gameplay recording, which is nice because I've been using the PC to record my videos. So you know I can record game on the fly. So maybe that you know because I record on the computer, it does not have audios. You know when I record on the game, the phone itself it will have audio. Oopsie. So as you can see here, it say turn game to on for the top. So it allows you to lock vision back in your game screenshot record. So this is the game tool. Uh, let's turn on and see what it's like. Oh my god, I agree. 
Um, as you can see, my internet's really quick, so I'm just gonna download like crazy. Man, but the graphics really good. I can see. I'm sure you can see it. Let's see. Let's see, just true. Uh, I guess it won't. Let's see, you can focus this. There, you see that? That's very good. Pass, pass. See the colors, awesome. Even just, even just, you can see it clearly. Mm, twice, press for that. That's all we're gonna do that. Yeah, but the but the costume look even way better when you look at the real one. This is through the iPad, so maybe not doing justice. But it's, I I think this is close enough. I can see that it look close enough. Yeah. Dating files. So this is the tool over here. Let's see. I hit this. Okay. So let's see. No alert during game. And I record. If I do record it, and I can record Starcraft Spirit gameplay with audio. You know, but I probably won't. I still stuck to my, you know, PC because I like playing on the computer more. But, you know, it's still good. You can see the colors. Awesome. Really awesome. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah as I've been using iPhone for like about a good one year for this phone. You know, I think I use this for one year. You know, maybe less, but I think one year is about right. You know, it a lot of limitation compared to Android. Like in terms of customization, really, because you know you have a phone that's, you know, I Apple they make good product on the outside, but on the inside they lock you up. You cannot do a lot of thing, and then you know, it's it's really once you get used to um, the outside too much, then now you now you start looking for the inside, because you know. It, just it's just like your computer case when you first buy the computer case you know you you love it so much you keep looking at it but after a while it get boring you know you want you want you want your inside computer to have good wallpaper you know game you know customization stuff like that that make you keep interesting and apple it it doesn't really do that you know true that they have, have good app selection but i think by now most re reputable company they have app for both devices so android and apple they call it ecosystem and it's just whatever you prefer but uh, from what I see education you want to um, be on Apple but for gaming I think app gaming also good for Apple too but I feel like you know the hardware for the Android is much better so you can push more out of it Apple is just one gig of RAM and then now they're up into two gig which is still very bad this is like four gig Okay. Installing. Okay, let me put in the, my account. I right, log in. No, you know, I'm not gonna do this, so I'm gonna put it off screen, obviously. Enter email. Okay, so there we go. So I just put this to advertisement. Oh my god, I cannot believe that. Next, 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 skip, skip. I 
Oh, let me see if I turn the. The brightness really bright. Maximum brightness, okay? There you go. It's kind of hard playing behind the. Really look good look though, I can see it. Colors very popping. Yeah, it's really beautiful, I would say. Uh, much better than the iPhone. Much better color. Oh, it's Aaron's favorite skin. Alright, this big screen right here for, for you guys, right? You know how it is. Okay. Do do. Uh, I'm just gonna beat a match really quick, just uh, when I look generic. Hopefully, I don't. At least. Um, so it's pretty clear. Top off. Can't even see through the camera. Okay, so there you have it. You know the game really nice. You see the colors good. At least very nice on the outside. I see. Okay, so enough of that. So obviously the main question is: Is it compared to the iPhone six and? Galaxy S7 Edge, you know, which one is better? I would say, you know, no doubt, okay, this is the best, okay, because they have 200 gig of space when you can record video. Why do you have such a good camera when you cannot have space to record them? So that's why the S, for the S6, or the, sorry, the S7 Edge, or the S7 micro SD is a plus, because you can record your favorite video, you know, your family, gathering no issue of space what well, this no you went out of space so quick that would be funny okay and obviously they have more battery and if you have the s6 would it be best to upgrade to the s7 i would say yes all right definitely the s6 is heating a lot of heating issue with like i play the s6 when you touch in the back it's really hot so they Samsung they have a cooling system now, so that's why when you play it shouldn't it shouldn't feel hot. So that's a very good. You don't wanna you don't wanna have a hot hot phone, you know, like you like feel like it's gonna burn up because you know the glass is very easy to, to get filled. You can feel the heat easy when when it's glass. You know. Plastic it will, it will, it will disperse the the heat, but for glass you touch it, it's really hot. Yeah, but for this I guess uh it's it's warmer now so I cannot say anything. But it should have 
much better much better um, heat heat uh, disperse you know and also one of the good thing is uh, it's waterproof so oh we love that feature you know you can just you know finally take some some diving and then take some picture of you know you know you do a dive or some stunt or something like that so it's nice to have the feature even though you might not use it but i like the water feature probably one of the best feature okay and when you get this you get the vr come on like oh the the phone come out in march 11th so i'm not sure you can still pre-order it now but if you can i highly recommend it because you get the free one dollar value vr the, the vr that samsung has is very it's very good you you cannot like you cannot believe it until you have to see the device itself to go to your local retailer phone let's say AT&T or T-Mobile they have the share a demo there you will see it look very very good on a VR and that's probably one of the, the driving pads that make me want to pre-order it instead of wait for it go cheap I wouldn't wait for cheap when you can just you know get the VR you know for free with a pre-order so that's a very good I think Samsung they want to destroy Apple this this year because you know giving free VR like that everything about this phone just destroy destroy this phone out of the water even a 6 6s cannot compete even a 6s cannot compete but you know you know some advice for you know for people who, who like iPhone you know I mean not total bashing it but when you buy an iPhone you know just a tip you know for me to you when you buy an iPhone, you always want to buy the iPhone get yeah, iPhone but the number version but not the S. So iPhone 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You do not want to buy iPhone 6S. You do not want to buy iPhone 7 s Because why? When you buy the iPhone iPhone 6S, yes yeah, sure you're better than than the iPhone S people. iPhone 6 6 people. But you know, and if six months later new phone will come out definitely they will top this phone so it makes sense you know like you buy this this phone will top up and now you know phone before they're not they, they're so expensive so whoever get the, the top phone always get you know I guess what you call them you know what status you want to name it but for me you know you want to save money you want to get the one year duration which is six seven big jump four and five big jump five six big jump you know six s and six not big jump and when and the thing is when the seven come out you be so blown away you want to get the seven and you just invest on the s six s why would you do that you know just like why would you do that it's just waste of money you know because you you are going to get tempted anyway you know by the new each new for new year for release you get tempted while the six s is just an advance you know and the hype like that what matter is when you get when you get a high-end phone when you get a cheap phone i don't care but when you get a high-end phone you want to get the one that is you know a lot of difference so that way pure hype so pure hype for four five six and obviously seven i'm sure it's gonna sell out it's just the way i i fan people is it's still gonna sell out for sure so but if you get the six s you know those six people they're not gonna they're gonna look at it and they're gonna say yeah they'll start you know talking about like say oh you're not it's not cool you know it's I'm, you know it's not better it's not that much better you know, I don't need it so by owning an iPhone 6s it just it just show that you know you know your value you know um, of your product it's not it's not that I guess it's called bling factor it's pretty much it you know but when you get like an iPhone 7 versus iPhone 6 definitely you will see that people will go crazy because you have all the latest stuff you know so same thing with the Galaxy but the but the Android phone is different though. They go like each year cycle. So it's four, five, six, seven. So it's different. But they don't do like the six S style, like like the like the Apple. Apple trying to make money off you really. So you wanna go S go from five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. Don't don't go for the S type. It's ridiculous. That's the best tip I can give you. But as far as Samsung, you know every year they're gonna be better so you just it just you just get what you feel like okay you just get what you feel like so now it's for this compared to the LG G5 uh, I don't know about the LG G5 I think it's just you know they never gonna get they never gonna get I don't think they ever gonna get it right LG G5 is ridiculous it's it doesn't look good 
and um, yeah, the the module, the blue battery, you know, it's fine. But I guess now they have rechargeable battery. I mean, um, fast charging, so not too bad. Even though there's no removable battery, you know. But LG, no, don't don't even get LG guys. Not recommended. Right? HTC, no, forget it. They they used to be good. I like HTC uh, M7 before when it come out, but now, no, not 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 that much, not that much. Okay, so stay. I would say, you know, the one of the most important thing about getting Android phone compared to to Apple is Apple. When you get an Apple phone, when they update, they will they will um, when they update, they will how is it? They update it able to work for all the previous device. So let's say your iPad, your iPad two, iPad three iPhone 4, iPhone 5, iPhone 6, is able to handle all the latest iOS update. You know, well, Gal well, Galaxy or you know any Android phone, and they update Marshmallow, you start to care, which is that is one of the the thing I don't like about. One thing I don't like about this this phone, uh, Android in general. You know, the phone is good, but the Android itself is not not the best because of the the way they update. It's it's very hard to update. You know the phone, and pretty much by the time say Android Seven come out, you know, I, I guess S Six they might not even update to the latest Android, which is a bummer. So that's why if you ever get the Android phone, you must you know apply for one of those like Jump Plan or NT. They call Next Plan NT Next, so that way you can you know, it's almost like you rent the phone and then you can just trade in. If you don't like the phone, you can just trade in and get a new phone, you know, so um, for new model. So it's it really the best way for Android because that way you don't have to worry about oh I buy this phone and then later all the Android the OS the game require a new update so you you basically you stuck with you know an old operating system like KitKat you know so or Marshmallow I mean sorry not Marshmallow Lollipop so it's it's, it's just like that so you you want it to be you want to be on some type of like lease plan i call it lease but they call it whatever they want to call it and okay, next plan jump plan whatever all okay? right but you know the best way to get to get android phone or to use an android phone without breaking your wallet too much is to to get on one of those plans okay don't buy the phone outright because you know think of all the past phone that you have you buy the phone you buy the phone outright and then you have stuck with it two years later and you use old technology and you know everyone else gonna you know use new phone you I guess and then if you if you if you you you're cool with that you know I'm not gonna say nothing but you know I'm, I'm just here to tell you what's the the best way to improve your your living I guess you know because you know car like car you do change every 10 year so phone you change every one year technically you change every one year and it's pretty expensive. This thing costs about eight hundred bucks. Right? This thing costs eight hundred bucks. And this thing also cost me eight hundred bucks too. Okay, they are expensive. But this one I bought right off right. This one I bought on the lease because of the Android. Okay, if Android was able to install any operating system by the user, I would have just bought the phone right off right. But because it don't do that, that mean that I have to depend on care, which I don't like. You know, and even. Never ever root the phone, guys. Okay, do not do it, because the thing is, the root the root ROM is ridiculously bad. It's bad. Okay, this is I'm I'm I root for I root the phone before, and I install a custom ROM. You name it, Cyanogen, horrible. Okay? I'm straight up horrible. Okay, you don't want to do that. Because it get buggy, your stuff start working, your camera start working, your Wi-Fi start dropping randomly. No good. Okay, don't don't do it. Okay, guys. So just you know, word of advice: do not do it. Okay. So just use Android Android phone the way it is, and you know, it don't need to be root. That's what I'm saying. Okay, you don't need to root the Android phone. Apple, you don't need to root either because. There's no you really you do nothing anyway, so don't don't do it. Okay, and my and last piece of advice you know for at least um, my iPhone user is that you always want to update your iPhone. 
or, or your iPad. Because what you do is, if you don't update it, at, after a certain period of time, you won't be able to update anymore. Even if you never jailbreak, you will never be updated anymore. So let's say you have um, iOS 6, you shouldn't be able to update iOS 9 right now. They, it, you will get an error, and you will never be able to update again. So try to update, like, say, 6, you update to 6.5, whatever, you know, 6.2, update it. Don't don't worry about it. it's gonna crash. It doesn't matter. It's better than than you stuck with an old OS. Okay, so just update. If it crash, too bad, you know. But uh, that's and then you wait until a new one update again and fix that one. Okay, but do not you know wait too long because you go from six now you say to like eight or nine, it's unable to update anymore. So that's what happened for some of my iPad. I don't update them, and they they're not able to update anymore. So. So that's my advice to to my i Apple user, okay. So an Android user, get on a jump plan because that's that's pretty much the only way to update without have to buy a new device, you know, you know. So you're looking at about three hundred bucks if you like you pay each monthly. It probably costs you about three hundred bucks or three fifty, and then by that time, in your phone plan, you jump to a new one. So pretty much like each year. This phone, uh, Android phone, will cost you twenty bucks to be used. Okay, so that's um pretty much it, and um, not that much I have to say, you know. And I'm not gonna be doing like um real, I guess, uh, what you call worldwide usage review. Cause there's no point, really. There's no point. Cause everyone, everyone do different, you know heavy user, light user, but I'm a more of a light user. Even if if I if this phone has the most bad, I'm not gonna still gonna gonna like turn on the brightness one percent. I'm not gonna do that. I just want you wanna be use the the most out of your your phone, you know, a lot of battery life. Why would you do that to uh, to uh decrease it faster? You know, it just make no sense, you know. So no so that's why I won't do it. You know, I'm not I'm not gonna, you know, Turn on brightness, turn on volume. Gonna record video twenty four hour. It's just no one's gonna do that. That's not that's not normal usage. But even if normal usage and you use light, you know you you should last a long time. Same thing with this iPhone. Even though this smaller battery, but I use I use sparingly, and uh, I don't turn on the brightness all the time, and it, it still lasts me like six hour, eight hour, no problem with that ten percent at six hour or eight hour, depend. But uh, yeah, so. Not playing game every every single hour, okay. If you do that, it will not it will not last five hours. It will last only like three hours for iPhone. But uh, this one I think will last four hours. But I don't know yet. No, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna post another review of of the device, okay. So, but nonetheless, I highly recommend you know, especially Android people to get this phone, okay. Do not get the Galaxy S six. Must get S seven. When you see this edge here, this okay is what make the phone different okay if you get the regular Galaxy S6 you might as well don't don't get don't need to get the phone at all because it just look like any other phone okay there's nothing special you might as well just stick with your S S5 or S S6 regular no not S6 but S5 okay because you know the whole point for you to even get this phone is the edge okay I'll just straight out say it. the edge okay? even if you don't use it you need to get the edge okay uh, whatever update or whatever okay so the whole point is to I'm not I know they have a feature where they have always on display you know with the text I just learned how to do that so uh, you know it's my first un unboxing I haven't used a feature before so I don't know how to activate it but uh, I could do it you know just but nothing special really okay so yeah do not yeah one make, make sure that you do not want to to um, you know, get the smaller version, which is the S7. Okay, if you get the S7, you wouldn't have the edge, and that would be a um, you just look like everyone else. You know, you need to have that. I just you know, my viewers, you know, I, I would like you know, if my viewer ever get gets S7, you know, getting S7 will you know just straight up make you look like a boss. Uh, it's uh, just straight up like that. Okay, top top of the line Android phone. Top spec, top, you know, looking, right? Top design, you know, and 
durable. I hope it drop. It doesn't break. I'm not gonna do drop test, guys. Come on. You know, I bought the phone. I'm not gonna drop it. If someone gave me the phone and forced me to drop, yeah, I have no choice, right? You know, those are the reviewer. They they get a phone to drop because the company pay them to get views. So if you don't drop them, then you you're violating the the reason why they gave you the phone in the first place. Okay, so no one gave me a phone to drop, so I'm not dropping. Okay, no, I, I could put in waterproof, but mm, no, I I I don't feel like it. You know, just in case uh, sometime defect happen. You know, why do that? You know, even though it probably won't, but you know, I'm just gonna trust Samsung with it. Okay, waterproof. Yeah, they do don't don't even don't even try, okay guys. I know, you know, not even I'm not even gonna do it for the view here. I'm not gonna put waterproof in just for the view, okay? So yeah, I highly recommend this phone a lot and you know just get on the on those you know next plan, AT next plan or AT jump plan, sprint I think whatever sprint plan I'm sure they have the jump like similar. Right now carry all the same. You know, it's not that much different, but T-Mobile lets you have unlimited um, speed, uh, LTE, which I like a lot, you know. So, I don't feel like having limit restriction to my my uh, bandwidth, especially watching YouTube and stuff, you know. So, that's why, uh, you know, try to get T-Mobile be the best best deal for the phone and, and the, the jump plan, okay. And and if you are in the, if you guys are in different country I don't know any more other country right? that's you gotta do is research yourself because right? I'm just this is for America okay it's for America all right so yeah and with that said and um, let's see if I can uh, show you one more thing I'll show you something interesting I want to show you before um, you see this right here is an anchor power supply um, battery bank you see it's in here it's saying I can get that focus see that power core it's about 10 10,000 something million something like that let me read carefully so okay? can't see it but it's about 10,000 something million okay this is really good this is really good all right this is really good so you see I bought I purposely bought the gold to match this phone so I plan to use this right here you know if I run out battery I use this right you press this and then you got the light see it tell you that it charge and it charge this is quick charge so you see it support quick charge 2.0 so it's able to Try the phone really fast on the go. Right? This you want you want to be getting this phone and this this quick charge battery. Okay, it's not, fast charge and quick charge are two different things. Fast charge is just a gimmick that that the uh, battery bank people said you know just higher amp, but really it's not compared to quick charge 2.0 Qualcomm. Okay, so make sure you buy a battery bank nowadays. You must get quick charge 2.0 for future proof for you know most device okay so that's that you you want to get both of it together that's what that's what you really want okay yeah you you can buy this buy gold and go you know you straight up you know you're gonna show you're gonna show out some some people easily okay boss this is what to me called boss that like, all go okay don't 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 go don't go cheap and get in black okay or any other color white or same thing with the phone, you know, you you know I don't know um how it is but you don't want to be be like those people that you know to be conservative, you know it's okay to be a you know be a flashy a bit you know it's not you don't show up in the face hey you I got to go you know it's but it's okay to be conservative, okay. So yeah, highly recommend this this brand, work good. Okay, and I'm not sure I'll do any other video, you know, for phone for unboxing. I I got a bunch of headphones, you know, Bluetooth speaker, but I'm not gonna do unbox for those. Not interested. Not interested. But you know, for this one, because I know that a lot of people buy phone, 
so maybe it will help it will help some of you out where you decide you want to get the S7 or not okay so yeah that's pretty much it and you know I think maybe I'll do a Galaxy S8 unboxing depend if they have a good pre-order it has to have a good pre-order otherwise I probably wouldn't buy an S8 but this phone is really good enough I can tell this is good enough so I might do an S8 I don't know I don't know I have to see but I think I'll maybe iPhone get better so I'll probably switch to iPhone so that depends okay but, but that's it for now so thank you for watching guys I know it's been long long hours the video is like about about an hour or something now so yeah <laughs> you know picture say goodbye okay so <laughs> so thank you very much for watching and l hope you guys you know enjoy my soccer spirit video and uh, I probably gonna you know do some club matches later on when, when the new feature come out for soccer spirit okay and that's it I'm out bye